Yo, what's up? My name is Petrowski. Welcome back to Road to Pokemon. This is Season 3, Episode 25, with our goal of making 10 million Pokemon. Now, this is Episode 25, the first episode after the two lost episodes that happened from my failing hard drive. So I think it's only fair we do a quick recap and sort of reassess everything. First things first, I have 1.4 million Pokeyen in pure cash, but I do have a lot of other Pokeyen in my bag. And more importantly, sold listings and everything on the GTL over here will go collect in a quick second, as well as a big ticket shiny that I'm in the middle of flipping. I'm also at 5,500 encounters to my last shiny, if it really matters. I'm also at 268 hours played and a couple extra stats here and there. I have tons of Pokemon that I've worked towards getting and developing for this account, like a full gym rerun team, a level 100 Crocodile, a Payday Meowth, an Alpha Murkrow for my gym runs, etc, etc. This series isn't just about making Pokemon as quickly as possible, it's about showing you guys how to develop a main account and all the steps to take from the first region until the completion of all of them. As well as having those side goals in each region, like making 1 million Pokemon in the first season, making a PvP team in the second season, and making 10 million in the third season. First things first, let's go ahead and collect that Pokemon stack off the GTL. I think that'll be super satisfying, and I think that's something we've earned. Let's go ahead, 441,000, putting us up to 1.8 mil cash. I also have this Mian Chow that I've been leveling up alongside my gym runs. I like to train these UTs or semi-competitive Pokemon, and then breed them up and sell them off level 50 for pretty cheap. These are essentially beginner competitive Pokemon if someone's trying to get into competitive play or they just want to test out the synergies of Amon on their team. The way that I would sell something like this is looking for these stats, only 25 plus in attack and speed, those are the most important ones. Even though I have 25 plus in HP, if I put that, it's just going to give me less accurate results. I look for Jolly and I see things like this Mian Shao with 31 speed, very similar, or 31 attack, very similar to mine. Uh, it has the EV training and everything that's going for 98k. This one's 55k but isn't EV trained. I'm probably going to go for a sort of middle ground, I'll go 75k on this one. Now let's go make more money while that sells of course. Now, instead of starting this episode with a gym run, I think I'm going to end it with one. I really like limiting my gym reruns during this challenge. I actually got a comment recently that was like, hey, what are you doing? Just do your gym run every day and just do this and yada yada. You'll make 10 mil. I agree with that. Gym reruns are a great way to make money, but that's not the point of this series. The point is to show you guys tons of different money making methods. If I just did my gym run every day, it wouldn't be a very exciting series now, would it? But if you guys have any money making methods you'd like to see me test out or try out, make sure to let me know in the comments down below. Today I'm going to be testing a money making method that I've actually never even tried. Not once. I've made a video on it, but I've never done an hour testing it. So if you see where I'm headed in game and you see my party and my Pokemon, you might already know what I'm doing. I'm going to be surfing over here on Island 1 over to Kindle Road, just right over to this location. I'll be teleporting back to this PC when necessary. And I'm going to be sweet sending in this location here. Now here I'll see times 5 hordes of Ponyta and times 5 hordes of Meowth. Both are, both are really cool if you want to shiny on either of these Pokemon. It's honestly a super solid spot. But the benefit here is that I can lead with a Frisk Bayonet. Now if I see an item on Ponyta, I don't think I'm going to be too stressed about it. But we can actually double check. Double checking what Pokemon hold what items in the Pokedex can be helpful. I'm pretty sure it's just a berry. Yeah, it's just a Shaka Berry. I'm just going to run from that. But if I see a Meowth pop up with a Frisk, then I know it. one of them has an Amulet coin, and I want to go ahead and thief all those Pokemon. I was a huge fan of farming Flame Orb on Heatmore because you could Shiny Hunt for a really cool Shiny and then also get Flame Orbs, which are worth around 8 to 10k at the time. Uh, amulet Coins are worth around 15k, so they are worth a little more. However, you only see Hordes of Meowth half the time, so I'm not sure how good this is going to be. I haven't even seen a single Meowth Horde yet. I know it's supposed to be 50-50, but I'm only seeing Ponyta so far. Okay, well, all six of the first Hordes were Ponyta, so I'm a little stressed, a little sweating for whatever reason. There definitely should be Meowth here. Let's go here heal up and come back a lot of shuckle berries as well there we go it took me a while for whatever reason but there's our meowth horde that at least lets us know and confirms this method is still possible and viable i like to double check that before actually starting a loop from one hour on anything but without further ado i'll see you guys after an hour and let you know how many amulet coins we pick up we're going to be starting with zero in our inventory that's good to know if you want to see the full loop from one hour video it should be linked down in the description or should be somewhere else on my channel I'm not going to go into the numbers in detail in this video or this series, but they will be in that video, of course. I'll just show you guys how many I got, how much money was made. All right, yo, what's up? We're here on the Cool Duder account, taking a quick break, pause the timer, 
for the loot for one hour of the amulet clim because we have an alpha ditto to catch this is like one of the best maybe probably the best alpha to catch right for profit it's pretty insane he's imposter i'm glad i led with the carp carp strats are really really good for this this one has tackle which is kind of bad actually um but that's okay we're gonna let our carp go he didn't die though wow that's kind of crazy i think there's no damage okay so we're going to catch this thing. Honestly, I don't mind tackling here to stall for more turns for timer balls. So that's two turns, three turns. That's just good strategy. I'm going to catch this alpha ditto and see you guys with some huge profits. Worst case scenario is I timer ball here. It instant breaks out. It wakes up turn one and then struggles and kills itself. That is worst case scenario. Let's see if it happens. JK, we just have streamer luck and always, always lucky boys. Never unlucky, could never possibly happen to a gamer like myself. Rash nature, two, I will take it, man. Two times 31 in special attack and speed. Nice ditto catch, boys. Let's price check it. Okay, this should be a pretty free. This one's for 175 and it's a, it's a lot better than mine. It has that HP stat and everything, but doesn't have the nature. My, mine's rash, no, not really, but it's usable for special attack. I'm gonna go like 160, I guess, on this or 170. But a lot of people, people are listing things really low right now because i'll draw 170 even though it's like kind of high in comparison to this stuff but things are people are listing them low right now because um there's i mean an alpha ditto swarm just happened so we'll draw 170k on that uh and that'll sell eventually well but insta sold easy peasy money boys that's what we needed that's the recovery we needed for the for the cool for the cool deuter account now let's go back and finish up that hour of meowth over two mil cash all right, yo, we're back after the hour of amulet coins. We have around seven of them, I believe. Yes, yeah, seven amulet coins to sell off for 15k a piece. Ends up being around 100k. Uh, maybe after lifting, listing fees, ends up being around exactly that. So we'll sell all of them. Uh, we have our richest charms, right? We don't need to. We'll probably need to buy one uh, for our actual gym run. So let's do this. Let's list them for 14998. Just slightly, slightly under. There we go. 104k, five kilos and feet, like 100k, 100k profit. So bam, easy peasy. We do also have 13 quick claws to just go quickly sell to a Pokemon. Ah uh, ha ha, which is 13k Pokemon. And then bam, here's the quick claws sold off. Easy 13k. And the amulet coins are already selling super fast. That is one of the benefits of the method. Only making around 110k per hour. Really not great Pokeyen, honestly, pretty piss poor, but could be a lot worse. And if you want a shiny Meowth or a Ponyta, that's a solid way to do it. Make some money along the way. But I'm going to go ahead and prep up for my gym run. This isn't the end of the video yet, but I want to go ahead and weave it in. It's a good time for a break. Turn the brain off. Make some Pokeyen. Oof, Rich's Charms are going up in price, but I still think it is worth it for me since I do around 18 gems. I'm going to go ahead and buy that one. It's getting really pricey, putting me down to that 2 mil cash stack, but I still think it's heavily worth it. So uh, starting at 2 mil Pokeyen, I'll see you guys after the gym run. But for now, let's heal up and actually go head over to the GTL really quick and just collect all of our little Pokemon stacks. I was kind of thinking, what if, what if I say head to the GTL, which is the PC? What if Pokemon actually had a GTL location, sort of like the Grand Exchange in RuneScape? Do I really want that in the game? Probably not, but it's cool in theory. It's sort of a hub of trading. All right, this NPC is going to be the end of our gym run. 75% charm running out. We ended up making around 300k profit. We were able to weave in Morimoto into the run, which is a little riskier, but was able to get us 27k in return. So I'm honestly really happy with that run for this account since we don't have access to Sinnoh. We do miss out on two gems, and it's really hard for this team. I think I skipped Blaine. It's really, really hard for this team to go against some of the fire the fire gems, like the one in Striation and then Blaine. I also... Uh, struggled with and i think i lost against misty i really need to get new typhlosions on this account uh the fact that both of them are neutral nature is pretty pathetic uh and then them having uh 25 plus a special attack and speed is really nice 20 plus speed here but like these typhlosions should be replaced at some point so uh maybe we'll work on that today maybe we won't I don't know, just popped in the head, was thinking about it for a quick sec, and I think I want to do some more breeding for profit today. I'm such a huge advocate of breeding for profit. You can make so much money if you do it correctly, and I think there's some good room in cynicals right now. The cynical market is in a pretty strange spot right now. It's kind of stagnant since a lot of people are just stopping farming them and waiting for Johto, so I might be off doing something better. There might be a better thing to breed for profit. I might sit on this one for a sec. Cynicals have always just been the old reliable when it comes to breeding for profit. They're just super good. But I'm also thinking about something like Shroomish. I don't really check Shroomish much, and Breloom are pretty sought after. You know what? I never go for Shroomish. Let's go ahead and breed some of these for profit. There's these super cheap female ones even. This one's 4k, and this one is 4700. They both have a 31. 
probably gonna go ahead and uh, snipe those up and I'm gonna get a calculator up uh, sort of tracking how much we spend on these. Calculator is on the bottom right hand corner of the screen that is going to track how much we spend. So 4K plus 5K, we'll go ahead and start with 9K over on the calculator. That's our starting spending amount. And the only thing this Shroomish really needs is attack. So let's go ahead and look for a breeder with, uh, we can check dittos, but since they are female, I'm probably going to try to look for an egg group breeder, which I believe they are plant, just plant, fairy plant. Okay, of course. The crazier thing about this is that Impish is sometimes a used nature. It's not fantastic, but some people do go it for Balti Shroomish, so it is usable, but under 1% in comparison, it's pretty tough to justify. I'll try to probably let the nature roll, but we might keep the nature, we'll probably let it roll. All right, I already found an uber cheap breeder for this. Look at this plus hole, 4K for this, 31 there, 24 plus in every other stat. I'm just gonna go ahead and buy that. That is so unbelievably cheap. So I'm gonna buy the two braces for that, plus that plus hole. That's plus 24K over on the cost so far. So this is what the first breed is going to look like 24 plus or 20 plus in every single stat that shroomish needs 31 special defense and 31 attack that's just fantastic uh i shouldn't have to worry about gender let's double check though the way i would check that is just go to the gtl and actually search those ivs and just see what comes up now obviously this is not going to be a super good price check this one's jolly i mean it's pretty comparable to mine if mine came out jolly i probably could sell for that 120k range i'm gonna go ahead and lower uh, the special defense just to 20 plus and we'll check it via that well now this is way too low right so it's tough to get an accurate thing uh 20k for that 25k here not seeing a whole lot of i mean i probably should go female is the is the pay for female only 5k yeah i'm gonna go for that it's definitely worth it almost to rebreed it to get nature on it so 38k spent on this shroomish breed we'll find another breeder for this shroomish as well while that one cooks and we'll just do two at a time get the total costs on both of them and then uh see the total profits once we go to sell them both Looking like this Hopip is going to end up being my best breeder no matter what. 31 speed, 25 plus in defense and HP. And then I'm going to brace over that 31 special defense. So I'll buy that for only 5k. So we'll do plus 5k. We'll do plus 25k. We're about to buy the two braces for him anyway. So that's perfect timing. So 63k spent on both of these shroomish breeds. And I'm going to let the gender randomly roll on this one. The reason why is that I didn't go an attack stat. So the fact that it's going to be 25 plus in the defenses and 31 in the speed, like this can be a breeder for any Pokemon. If anything, this is probably better to have rollout as a male when people really want to go for it as a Breloom, but it's just going to be a really, really good breeder. So I'm going to let it randomly roll and just not pay the extra 5k. So 63k spent is the total cost for these two breeds. I'll see you guys with the profits. And part of me wants to go do something and be efficient here, go payday fishing or something of the sort, but doing that would only slow down the hatching of the egg, which at least if you're payday fishing, it's it's not really the worst thing in the world, but at the same time, uh, I'd rather just sit here for a couple minutes and let them hatch. Alrighty, with the eggs hatched, let's go ahead and check the natures. Naughty, not terrible, gentle, not usable, but that's okay. 20 plus, we high rolled the special attack there. Stats look fantastic there. How are the rolls here? Yeah, everything looks really solid. Let's go ahead and head over to a GTL and just try to sell these off. All right, now, once again, we paid 63K to breed both of these Shroomishes. Now, this one's kind of a weird one. Uh, honestly, going female, I think, was kind of a mistake, just to let you guys know so you don't make that same mistake. This one is really, really cheap. I kind of want to buy this to flip this. Honestly, I'm going to go ahead. I kind of bought two Shroomishes over here to flip. We'll do that in a quick second, add on those profits. But I think I'm going to list this one for 60K. I think that's super reasonable. Someone could easily rebreed this and make it into a perfect uh, Shroomish really, really easily. So let's go to this one for 60K, and that'll make up for essentially all the cost into it almost so let's start tracking our profits or at least our expected money coming out and then we'll subtract our cost after that let's price check the second shroomish now and this one came out female which is honestly kind of unfortunate maybe i should have paid for this one to come out male that might have been more beneficial for my needs here I absolutely definitely should have looking back. I would have made way more profit on this, unfortunately, but that's a mistake. You know, breeding mistakes happen no matter how good you get for sure. Even so, don't stress, don't worry. I'm still making a ton of money here. We have this low tad listed for 55K, which is super comparable, but male. Uh, let's go ahead and check Shroomish on this as well. Right now I'm checking by the egg group price, but it might be worth here to go ahead and check by Shroomish in general. So let's see what we're looking at. Like 85K is the cheapest, but that seems 
too pricey for sure i might just go 60k on this one as well let's go 65k since it's female if someone's looking for a shroomish these might take longer to sell which has kind of been i have too much stuff listed i probably should be trying to get more quick turnarounds honestly it's something i should focus on a bit more but i'm gonna do 65k on that one as well uh we'll go ahead and add that over onto our calculator i think it's a fair sale but it'll take a second you know uh, let's go ahead and subtract uh, let's subtract 70k sure just play it really safe an easy 55k profit uh in a matter of minutes it was super fast now we also have these shroomishes to flip which will be even more profit now i bought this one for 20k and once again i seem to be making a lot of mistakes this episode kind of unfortunate but a realistic portrayal of what money making looks like in pokemon sometimes you just make mistakes i think this is just gonna get resold for a really really similar price as you can see this one's 25k listed for four days man kind of unfortunate a mistake on my end i'm probably gonna go ahead and list it for 23k and just sort of break even on it that's just a mistake that's okay it happens this next one i did buy for 6k and i feel pretty confident on making a good flip on this uh worst case scenario what i might go ahead and actually just breed it we'll see what dittos exist for it I might go ahead and buy this Skitty for just 12k and try to make a breed out of that. Now, Skitty is Fairy Field, if I'm not mistaken, which honestly might make it a pretty good breeder. I definitely want to pay for this to come out male, though. So I'm going to put a little more money into this one. So, so far, we're at 55k profit. Uh, this uh, cost me 12k for the Skitty, 6k for the Shroomish, uh, plus the Brace we're about to put on. We'll, we'll count it all together, but we'll do 6k plus 12k. Was that 18k spent so far on this breed? If I'm being totally honest, part of me wants to just not brace this, but I think it's still worth it just paying the extra 10k. It's just not that expensive. I can go ahead and put it on the skitty, and that's going to allow me to carry over that 31 special defense. It, it, otherwise, it would roll between 27 and 31. I don't have anything to brace on the shroomish, unfortunately, but I am okay with that. Let's go ahead and make this breed. Even though it's going to come out cool dude or star and not have my OT if it happens to come out shiny, I'm just not going to worry about that today. I'm sick of making mistakes. I want to go ahead and go through with it. And this needs to be made male, which is going to cost 9k more Pokien. So we're going to add plus 19k, making this breed cost more than I expected. 37k. Hopefully I'll make profit on this. I don't think I'm gonna. Guys, I don't know what's wrong with me today, but I'm messing up. Hey, but that's okay. Mistakes happen, especially with breeding. That's just how money making goes. So I'm going to make the best with it that I can try to cut my losses to a decent extent, head over and do some payday pickup while I sort of let this egg hatch to honestly make up for the losses made today. Worst case scenario, I'm definitely breaking even. It's nothing super crazy. Maybe I'll lose 10k here and there. It just sucks to waste the time, but it's what happens. All right, the skitty hatched. I haven't checked it yet. Let's see. Brave nature doesn't really work, but it's not terrible. It'll make for a good breeder. 37k spent on this was definitely too much. I don't know how I expect to profit on this. Maybe I should have just randomly rolled the gender. I, I don't know. That, that hurts, but you know what? What are you going to do? Let's head back to the GTL and try to cut our losses and try to sell it off. Honestly, there is a similar hop of listed for 40k, but that's been up for four days and it's not really selling. So not looking great. Let's check field and fairy 12k for this Persian. Oh man, it's not looking good, fellas. I think what I'm going to do. Ouch, it, it's just a mistake. It's just a stupid mistake by me uh, and it just happened. So you know what, man, it just thinks fairy. What happened there? 40k. I think what I'm going to do is list it for, I feel like it realistically, if I'm being honest, I think it only sells for like 12, like 20 K. I think I'm taking a loss. I think I'm going to be, I'm going to list it for a realistic price, 25 K and it's just a loss. Uh, that's okay. Got to cut your losses. Sometimes it was a stupid breed by me. Stupid fucking mistakes, man. Uh, it happens. That's okay. Rest in peace. So now it's time to actually count our profits for the episode. If you count the pro the profit brought in from the initial GTL claiming, that was 440k right there, then plus 300k from our gym run. We still made a lot of money so far this this episode. Then we also made 113k from the profit of the amulet coin farming for an hour, 850k so far. 50 to 55k profit. We'll do 50k should be brought in from the shroomishes. And then the skitty did lose us about, what, 15k or so? Honestly, I'll just go ahead and subtract 20k because I think I deserve it. I messed up this episode, but that's okay. Look at this. This is a, look at me over here whining, crying. Oh, I messed up a bad episode of Road to Pokemon. 883k profit says otherwise. And even if you don't want to include uh, the 
expected profit or the profit gain from this episode of like previously listed stuff. It's still 430k, most of which being from the amulet coin farming in the gym run. But hey, hey, not the craziest episode for profit, but a great episode for testing, learning information, and just seeing what works. And that's what's really important when it comes to money making method testing, seeing what's good at the time. It's constantly changing and adapting what's best. So it's just good to test things out. Let's go ahead and head over to an interesting location. Now I'm going to leave you guys with this. I think this will be a good place to call it and tease you guys for the next episode of Road to Pokemon. Hopefully you enjoyed this. Hopefully it was a fun time. Hopefully you learned something. If you did, make sure to leave a like on the video. If you didn't, feel free to dislike. Subscribe to the channel for daily Pokemon videos. Follow the Twitch for streams Monday through Thursday at 12 p.m. ET. Discord link is down below if you're interested in that. And if you want to go above and beyond and support the channel, you can do so with the financial links down below. YouTube memberships, Twitch Primes, Twitch Subs, PayPal, and Venmo all help out a ton. That's it for me. My name is Petrowski. Have a great day. I'll see you guys later, and we will be getting 10 mil eventually. Yo, thank you so much for watching until the very end of the video. I really, really appreciate that, and hopefully it was worth your time. If your name is on this list, that means I appreciate you even more, and you go above and beyond and physically allow my channel to function. I appreciate you so much, and have a great day.